All right, so Dokkan has posted a third teaser, um, and it seems like it really, like, legitimately might have uh, confirmed Future Saga this time. But what we did get a confirmation of was the time machine, right? So, I guess just to show you guys real quick here, um, if we take a look at, uh, you know, just make the video large, we see that, you know, they're building, like, this blue thing. I'm not actually sure what this is exactly, but if you see right here, they are building the legs to the time machine right here. Uh, the yellow legs. I guess these are like buttons probably. I don't know the, what these are These are the jet boosters right on the side of the time machine itself Obviously that will allow the time machine to fly and right here. This is the important part So this is actually confirmed to be the seat. I actually thought this was the seat when I originally signed packed I'm gonna bring it up uh, right here. <laughs> I'm actually going to literally um, Bring it up right here. I was like, yeah, these are the seats. I, I called it I saw it and I was like, yeah, this is the seat right here I knew it. I'm so smart. I'm, I'm just stroking my ego right now, but <laughs> for sure. But obviously, they're building the seat right here, and we see this is the final showing of the actual seat. And this is the hint. This is the big thing right here. So if you see, they're finalizing building the seat, blah, 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 right? And if we take a look here, once they finish this up and put the little chair, this is the seat in its like, finished state, right? Um, and obviously, they're going to say, like, to be continued, right? But here it is. So... Um, the trunk set machine seat. Whoopee, right? You may be thinking, okay, well, that doesn't still really do anything or tell us anything about exactly what is there. Um, but I do think that this does, uh, tell me a little more than what you would really anticipate. Um, we can go ahead and take a look here uh, as I actually is brought up by, uh, well, okay. Truth actually posted the screenshot. And if we take a look here. Uh, the machine right here. This is the time machine, right? It's not really too easy to see, but the seat right here, it does look different compared to this seat right here, which this looks much, much more closer uh, in terms of the actual time machine that's here. And I'm not sure if there's any other images here, but again, someone, um, it doesn't have the blue tin around it like the future one does. I'm not really sure, like a blue tint, but yeah, essentially, um, it looks to be based on what we're seeing that it's actually Dragon Ball Super design for the time machine, which basically is telling us Dragon Ball Super time machine, future saga trunks, right? From the Dragon Ball Super arc looks to be basically confirmed here for the worldwide celebration again. 90% I guess I could say right yeah it's not 100% certain but this honest to me makes a lot of sense based on the information that we do have with like all the upcoming future saga easies I mean I have future saga pulled up you have Intel or Rose's easy upcoming Int Goku Black's easy upcoming Ajo's Fusions of Monsters easy is upcoming Tech Trunks easy is upcoming this guy is like one of the oldest students without an easy a this 18 and this 17 their stickers are in the data. I, th I was thinking about making a video of this, but these guys' stickers are in the data itself. But if we take a look here at the celebration information, uh, uh, blah, 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 we see that future Gohan's EZA isn't returning. So they're not sub EZAing as part of this trunk celebration, which is another detail. I mean, this could have also meant Android Soul Saga, right? But I mean, this makes sense to be in a future saga celebration more so than uh, Android Soul Saga one. To me personally, like a future saga theme one, um, it just makes a lot of sense that saga hasn't really been touched too often in the past few years, right? I mean, last Dokkan Fest Goku Black, we yeah, have was the Int Goku Black, right? Um, last Dokkan Fest, like Dragon Ball Super Trunks was this Trunks, and he doesn't even have an LR, right? The Dragon Ball Super Trunks does not have a standard LR. Last Dokkan Fest Vegito Blue from this arc was Tech LR Vegito Blue. You know, even Fusions of Masu's last Dokkan Fest. I mean, if you want to really say it, it's this corrupted Fusions of Masu, right? He hasn't had a Dokkan Fest since then. The Dokkan is this guy, by the way, just saying. So there's, um, it just makes a lot of sense for them to swing back here to the Future Saga celebration. Now, I guess that doesn't mean Vegito is coming, but like, let's be real. Like, if they're going to drop... Do I have it still up here? The um, uh, celebration information? I guess I'll just go on up here. I'll just go here. Are they going to drop this bait banner? And you're not going to tell me they're going to drop Vegeta with the future future saga celebration? Like, <laughs> let's be real. Let's be real. Come on. Come on. Come on. You, you guys know. He's coming. He's coming. Vegito Blue is coming. We, we know. We know. We know. 
I think this is a really, really tight, actually, uh, evidence regarding that. Because the, the design is different. They likely will just go with the Dragon Ball Super Future Saga design, right? I think that just makes a lot of sense to me, personally. Um, and another thing, you know, I, I do want to bring up this point as well. The one thing I would say, right? If they wanted to tease Cell Saga or Android Cell Saga, would they, like, if it's like Gohan versus Super Saiyan, like, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan versus Cell. Would they really be teasing the time machine? Like, this time machine doesn't... Like, it has relevance to the plot for sure, but... I feel like to the future saga, I feel like it's a lot more relevant. Because it's like, okay, Cell Saga has, you know, the Cell Arena, right? Um, Like, what, like, item is, like, really relevant to the Dragon Ball Super Trunks saga, right? I, I really do think that... um makes a lot of sense that it would be the time machine more so compared to the cell saga right like if they're gonna do the cell saga they'd be building like the cell games arena right i, I think that's that's a point i was talking with luka dokan about it and he brought that up and i was like you know that's a pretty good point luka dokan right they, they would obviously be, build this uh this time machine right let's see what people are thinking though definitely future saga trying to be vague they wouldn't give a dead giveaway teaser to his I don't think that was Karen Sarah. Right? I think I want to clear this misconception as well. I think a lot of people were thinking that this is Karen Sarah, not uh, oh, Corn Sarah. And I was thinking maybe that could be the case. But if you take a look here, they're putting it on just a just uh this this blank piece of um tube, just a cylinder tube, right? A cardboard tube. Like, wouldn't this be like actually already decorated? If they're putting clouds on it already, and the clouds are still on the piece of paper as well. I feel like if this was the, if they're applying it here to this and they're not just bending the clouds, this would actually be designs probably, right? Or if they're like trying to add it on there. I don't know. That, that's just me. And just because they're bending clouds doesn't mean that it's going to necessarily mean the lookout, right? It doesn't make this, it doesn't really make sense for the lookout to be next to the time machine in the first place, right? um maybe this is probably like the whole thing where everything's gonna stand so maybe they're bending the clouds so it could be bent around here that's what i'm thinking i don't think that was ever the lookout i think that that was a good guess but if we're comparing it like to the time machine it doesn't make sense especially because I, I don't know if they would make like the lookout on that right um i think that that makes a lot of sense you know in fact uh truth actually just posted another image here right here uh Trunks even have to go on and go. So yeah, again, another look at it. Preezer is pretty clearly pointing to Dragon Ball. So yeah, like again, the the color in fact is a little different, isn't it? Nah, it's like more or less the same color. Okay, but um, like how how the how the seat looks. Like see, you know, we could take right here. What, where is the seat again? Uh, yeah. See the seat right here has these at the top, right here. You see the little like uh, I, I don't know if you can call them like shoulder pads, but this part right here near the shoulders, the few the uh yeah see the dragon ball z one doesn't have that the the super one does yep yeah 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 dude this is future saga dragon ball super future saga a hundred percent i like literally like double convince myself in here i'm i'm i have a very confident mind that this is actually going to be soup uh the trunks saga which is good right? I, I think that's really good i mean dude vegeto blue the last sun one one again we got was this tech Vegeta Blue. So again, my guess is for Future Saga. Uh, just hear me, hear myself the billion time. I think Vegeta Blue, and I actually think it'll be versus Rose again. I think it'll be Dokkan Fest Rose, and then Carnival LR Vegeta Blue is my guess, right? For part one. Now, a lot of people don't want Carnival LR Vegeta Blue, but I think it would make sense if they gave this guy the um, Carnival LR because he's had a Dokkan Fest LR already. Well, Rosé has not yet have a uh, Dokkan Fest LR, right? I think it would make sense for Rosé's Dokkan event to be updated to get a Dokkan Fest LR stage. Well, as Vegeta already has had a Dokkan Fest LR, um, and he, you know, it would make sense if he's like the Carnival LR, right? Um, but yeah, I, th I think that uh, Vegeta would obviously get that. And then part two, Fusion Zamasu. Where is it? Uh, where is he? Yeah. Again, Fusion Zamasu right here. I think he would get the Carnival Lore, actually, probably. Which sucks, because he also deserves to get a new Dokkan Fest update. It's really weird. It's like, they can do either or, really. I mean, if they want to be really nice, um, they can 
actually go ahead and do both the villains as the Dokkan Fest, which would be peak. And then on top of that, obviously, Trunks. I feel like Trunks, again, he, he also deserves, like, that's that, this is telling, right? All these characters, all three of them deserve Dokkan Fest LRs at this point, right? And it's kind of crazy. They haven't gone to Dokkan Fest LR. How many do we have at this point? We have at least, like, I mean, we have, like, at least 30, right? 30 Dokkan Fest LRs. I mean, we have a t so many LRs in the game. We have a ton of Dokkan Fest LRs, right? Like, 5 to 10 release every year, basically, since the third anniversary, right? Um, that's a lot that they would end, end up releasing. So, I guess during the year, the third anniversary wasn't really like that, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, if this means anything. Maybe I'm crazy, but I want to put this video anyway just because it's the third hint. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Peace out.